I purchased the GY91 with the intention to reduce the weight of my Intel Edison drone project. When I looked to Amazon to find an inertial measuring unit, there were so many options. My specific requirements were small, lightweight, Arduino compatible, and cheap. Many fit this description. However, this design didn't seem to waste any space. It was purple, which added character, and prime shipping was offered. I was able to successfully pair the GY91 with the Adafruit Pro Trinket 5V over I2C. Together with the wires and the FTDI headers, the assembly weighs 5 grams. Considering the size and weight, this is a very powerful tool. In order to use I2C, you need four wires, positive, ground, SDA, and SCL. On the Pro Trinket, you will find that it has the same pinout as the Arduino Uno, so the analog pin 4 is your SDA and the analog pin 5 is your SCL. 5 volt connects to VN, ground connects to ground. Alright, so I have this little device. What can I do with it? Go ahead and grab the code from the link in the description. If you end up having any issues with this code, please post in the comment section below all of your questions, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hopefully I can find a solution to any of the problems that may arise. In order to keep things clear and organized, I created a folder called the GY91. I use an FTDI to micro USB adapter in order to use the serial monitor, which is necessary for calibration and to view output data. Upload the sketch. Once uploaded successfully, Use the serial monitor. Be sure to adjust the baud rate to 38400. For now, every time that I use this program, there is a required calibration. When requested, wave the assembly in a figure eight pattern for 15 seconds. When the calibration is complete, all sensor data is displayed once every half a second. I have modified the code in this video to display limited data and increase the rate at which data is updated for demonstration purposes. This valuable information will help me leverage the capability to create advanced projects. If you're interested in seeing what can be done with this, subscribe to this channel because there will be more. See you next time.